Hey guys, Harvey Deets the name, and today I am back in the 13W38A snapshot. So, before I even get started with the video, I want to say that I'm sorry for the lack of uploads lately. So, school has caught up with me recently, and I have had quite the handful of homework, but luckily, I am uploading right now on this nice Friday morning, uh, even though it's a little bit cloudy. But, other than that, let's get started with the video. So, right here, I have a four-lever combination lock in Minecraft. So, yeah, pretty simple. It works like a normal combination lock would in Minecraft, just taking advantage of the commands in 1.7, in the snapshot for 1.7. So, if you put all the levers down, the door does not open, so let's just go and put all those levers back up. And there we go, now it's reset, now it's ready to go, and if you put these first two levers down, the door will open. And if you put any other of these two levers down, the door will close right back up. So, yeah. That is basically it. I mean, it works with the other one also, as like that. The door is also closed. So you get the main idea. And I guess let's get started with the commands in redstone. So, this is what it is. It's not all that complicated. Just a whole lot of fancy commands. But that's basically it. So, yeah, it may look quite like like big for a for for a four digit combination lock I sort of blanked out for a second there but that's cuz it's taking advantage of the commands so let's get started with the two levers that activate the door so right here this center one this one sets a block to the relative position of the command block that's what those tildes are there for so that means just like from the position of where the command block is so it'll set a redstone block in those coordinates and it's also taking advantage of the new minecraft colon redstone block thingy and it sets a redstone block right there so if I activate it it will put a redstone block right there so yeah pretty cool and then let's get on to this one right here which is also activated when the lever is turned on this one sets a a sandstone block right over here so then, when the second lever is activated, this one also sets a sandstone block right there. Then the current will be able to be passed through the block and to the door. And this is, a, this is an AND gate right here, so both of these redstone blocks have to be there in order for this to be activated. And then the door opens. So, <coughs> sorry, I still got a little cold. But anyway, let's get on to these two levers. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I almost forgot one thing. So, these, this command block right here is activated when the lever is turned back up. And what it does is sets a block to right here. Oops. No, no, no. I lied. I lied. I, I don't even know what my redstone contraption is. It sets a block of air right here, so it removes the redstone block that was there. So, that's what those two command blocks do. Now, let's get on to the other two command blocks. So, when these ones are activated, both of them will activate this redstone trail, which is in this comparator clock right here, which activates this command block, which is just has such a long string of redstone, so it's easier for me to place the block of air right there. So, the command is just setting the block relative to the position of the command block and it's setting a block of air right there so the current cannot be passed to the piston door and then when the levers flip back up you will be it will reset that sandstone block so it's back there from, from it's back it's back right there jeez I got confused with my words for a second okay let's try to rephrase that it places a command block back there right there I tried to press control because I thought I had opt optifying but I don't oh well sooner or later that'll come out for 1.7 and that's just the same for this one I just put it up here because I didn't want it to get all screwed up with the redstone so that's about it it might have been pretty confusing for you but if you have any questions be sure to tell me in the comments and we are almost to 200 subscribers like at the point of uploading this video I believe I'm at 193 subscribers so yeah, I'm really excited for that 200 subscriber mark. Can't wait to make that special. But anyway, thanks 
thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe also if you haven't already because you know I'm getting excited for that 200 mark and you could be part of the celebration so that's about it thanks for watching bye